So we've talked a little bit about the adult world. Yeah. We've yeah. talked a bit about you know what people bring into the workplace, yeah. what people are dealing with in their home lives, and the skills that we use with NLP to encourage people to think smarter, to feel better, to behave uh, on purpose with integrity and so on. And if we reverse engineer that back to yep. childhood, yep. as you know, one of my great passions is a prevention model yes. because we understand what we have to do at the intervention level with adults, yep. but actually in a smarter world, we would prevent it yes. to this point. Agreed. And um, as you know, Chris, uh, thank you for being such a great supporter. I've just launched my book, yeah. The Happy Brain, uh, which is very strongly a, a model yes. of prevention. Yep. And based on what children have told us from the outset, you know, you work with some children in a play environment and you see how they're already beginning to stack up what we call in NLP the deletions, the distortions, and the generalizations yep. in their language, and particularly the distortion patterns yeah. like you know, she looked at me that way, that means I'm gonna have to move school, everybody hates me, you know, that huge distortion. And it's there in, in, in real clear, uh, sort of tangible language, yep. we catch that yep. with children. Uh, so encouraging all parents or those working with children yep. to be able to um, gently challenge or chide the children out of those, uh, you know, to, to help them to see a different way of yep. responding. So in, in Happy Brain Training, we, we have a, a very simple exercise called Undoing Thinking Traps, where the children just learn five language patterns. Yep. What else could it mean? You know, what's the worst? What's the best? What, what's most likely? What else? What would somebody else think? Really simple, simple stuff. So very surface introduction to NLP. My, my my question for you, because you have lots of children. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I have four children um, with my wife, <laughs> and then I have one adult with my ex-wife. <laughs> yeah. So. And so you have five children. I have five children. Yes. Too, yeah. So. Well, well, there, there We're you in go. the five children We're, yeah, club. Two yeah, football yeah. teams together. Then two five sides. Yeah. <laughs> so. When my children were, were young, like your yep. your children, or four of your children are, um, I didn't have this no. skill set. I yeah. didn't understand what I now know. Yep. And largely, I've written that book for the younger version of me. Yes. So, you know, yep. to go back in time, what yep. did I need back then that would have given me what I needed to be a more accomplished? Uh, within myself and uh, to support my family. Yep. But of course, you have an amazing skill set now while your children are small. Yep. Are you consciously aware of how you use your NLP skills, for example, to encourage your children to have better operating systems, for want of a better expression? Yes, and just to uh, pre-frame all of that, you know, as a parent, you can get so emotionally involved mm. in lots of things, so you kind of need to be able to disassociate yourself from the situation with your child before then, you know, kind of doing any kind of intervention and hoping that it's an unconscious thing that you're doing anyway. I love the idea of the five patterns that you were just mm. talking about, because I'm thinking, you know, some t uh, children are experts at distortion, yeah. oh, they're yeah. amazing. Yeah. And, and for me, I've got a uh, 12 year old daughter, I have an eight year old daughter, and I've got twin boys. And when I watch them sitting at the dinner table having a chat, that's a great time to really work mm -hmm. out what's going on. <laughs> right. Do we ever work out? What's uh, going I know, on I know, crazy. not really, <laughs> but you know, at least that <laughs> snapshot is a snapshot in time when they're all socialising. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it is hilarious. And you know, and my wife and I, you know, you sit there and you think, wow, where did that come from? Yeah. You know, and you kind of have to uh, you've got to resist the temp this is my view, mm -hmm. right? I need to resist the temptation to step in and solve yeah. straight away. Yeah. The, the pacing and leading side of things yeah. is a really, really important thing. And you know, one of the things that I've uh, noticed is that one of my 
uh, boys is very much, I think, a lot of times that I can challenge some of his distortions just by texting. Oh. Right? Mm. Now, yeah, that, that I've heard this pattern a lot. Exactly. Yeah. Now, this medium wasn't yeah, yeah. available to him because they're too young, as far as we're concerned, mm. to have phones. But he's borrowed his older sister's iPad or you know, Samsung mm. tablet. Uh, others are available. And, um, and I guess the key thing is I'm now having dialogue with him that I didn't have before. And it's both of us are dis, yeah, you know dis disassociated from the yeah, from from yeah, yeah. from so I can have really good conversations yeah. with and him. And it has to be clean because you can see absolutely, see the language, absolutely. Yeah. So that's working. And you know, an eight-year-old child yeah. typing stuff in compared to a twenty-eight-year-old, yeah. completely different. Yes. So you get real good, clean communication. Mm. Mm. So yeah, it's great. Really good. I've, I've actually heard heard other parents say that that you know it's and it's a double edge yeah. thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because yeah. on one hand, you know, one of the biggest complaints I get from parents is uh, that their children spend too much time on screens, yeah. whatever the yeah. screens may be. Um, however, as you you say, just the opportunity to get somebody to see the language yes. as it's coming out yeah. and forming it and being uh, yeah cleaner about the way it's used. Absolutely. And if it's your your route to to match, then then that's it's a good starting place. Well, yeah. put it this way, yeah. from my perspective, you know, sometimes I'm away from home for you know long periods of time. And it gives me the opportunity and him the opportunity mm. to connect mm. where, where, when we probably wouldn't have, you know, maybe the, old, the phone call home and then everyone's scrabbling to try and fight for, you know, Are a little you bit really of time. Are you really popular when you come home? Yeah, you briefly. Spend a lot of time. <laughs> and then they go back to their normal activities. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like it. I, I'm, I feel much more connected at home now because they've got these devices. Okay. You know? Because when you're away, you you've maintained contact. Absolutely, with oh, okay. mm. it's great. You know, mm. and and what's really good is my son set up the uh, the app, you know, to, in order to be able to communicate with me. And I, you know, so we did it together. So now that's our little, it's our red phone. You know, it's great. It's really good. You sound like such a technical dad. Oh, well, well, they're teaching me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I gather that. Yeah. <laughs>